Hey guys, what is up? It's a beautiful day outside, the sun is shining. And how can I spend my time better than playing with Ultimate Mortal Kombat skinned Scorpion. Now, this, this skin just came out and let me tell you, I fell in love with it and I said to myself, listen, I know I've already made quite a lot of ranked matches with Scorpion, but with this skin, man, I just had to do it all over again. It's so beautiful. Anyway, I am fighting with Sub-Zero and he's also using the classic skin. Okay, let's get on to the match. As you can see, I've got a big life lead right now. Nice slide there from Sub-Zero. Scorpion's got him in a lot of trouble right now, and it looks like the game's all over. Big damage right there. Seven hits. Uh, you're talking 20 to 30% damage with each combo when, when Scorpion gets you. Big damage again already. 25% uh, lost already. Uh, you're looking close to 50% right now. Great attacking there from Scorpion. Ah, nice, nice defense there from Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero saying, get lost. Oh, nice combo there from Scorpion. Good uppercut there from Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero using his blade. Okay, he sort of did his attack from... Oh, nice combo right there from, Sub from Scorpion. And it looks like the match is already over. So a very quick match right there. By the way, I need to explain. At this time, I was trying to do Toasty. His fatality where Scorpion takes off his mask and he really he reveals his sort of true identity. He's got skeleton comes out. Obviously, we've all got a skeleton, but this guy, he can sort of blow fire and he burns you. He burns your entire body. I think that's one of the best fatalities. Anyway, it's one of the most memorable fatalities of the past and they bought into this game. Now, if I remember, the way you do it is you hold block and you hold up, up. Well, that's the way I used to do it in MK2. And I tried to do it now and no, I couldn't do it, so uh, that, that was a bit of a fail. Anyway, we're on to the next match and we're fighting one of my favorite players, Goro. Now, I need to tell you guys the truth. Whenever I fight Goro, I really feel bad because it's like beating your favorite char one of your favorite characters. I mean, Goro is a legend. He's one of the best sub-bosses. I mean, you might be playing lots of games in your life. You might have been played. You might have played loads of fighting games in your life, like I have. I, I love fighting games. I've been playing fighting games since uh, since I was about three. Anyway, I need to say that Goro Matoro are the best sub-bosses in history. History. And this is why I, I don't like fighting against them. I have so much respect for them. For years they made me cry. I couldn't beat them. When I was a kid, I was like... I used to be like going to my elder brother, listen, can you beat Matoro? Nah, man. So what happened was, I knew instinctively that I was the best gamer in my house. There was nobody I could go to saying, listen, man. Oh, he's caught me with the x-ray. Oh, big damage. Anyway, I want to say that, look, I used to play um, a lot of fighting games, kind of Mortal Kombat 2 and, you know, beating Shao Kahn and these guys was so difficult for me. And um, I wanted to say that um, uh, nobody in my house could beat him. It wasn't just because I couldn't beat him. I was like, I was like five, I'd say, at that time, and no one could beat him. And uh, you know, I was born in 1990, and uh, just I had to get better. So I just kept practicing, and and uh, thank God, you know, later on I, I became a better player, and I started to defeat my sub bosses and bosses. But Mortal Kombat is a great fighting game, absolutely. Iconic characters, iconic characters. Anyway, let's get on for the match. So it's uh, at, at, uh, around the piece. And uh, Goro looking like he's doing a great job against, uh, against Scorpion. Okay, big damage right there. He's in the corner. You really don't want to be in that corner in this game. Seriously, this is like the worst game to be in that corner. Um, Scorpion is teleporting, just puts him aside from every character in this game. He's so good in this game and that and that costume just makes him look so iconic of the past. I love it. This costume resembles Ultima Mortal Kombat. The one I've got on SNES. I've got that game on SNES. Anyway, this time we're fighting against Injustice version of Scorpion. Now, I think this Injustice costume looks freaking amazing. But I do have to say, um, you know the videos I post right now of MK, they're not going to be as, you know, my, the gaming, the quality ain't going to be there, the way I play. Now I know more combos than what I'm showing, 
But because, seriously, I don't want to make excuses yet, but because it's Ramadan, it's so harder to play these games because my brain's tired, uh, it needs glucose, your brain needs around 12 grams of glucose per hour. I'm not in taking any glucose. The way I survived during Ramadan is due to the uh, the stored glycogen I have in my liver and uh, and some of the fat I have on my body. But anyway, I, I have to say to you guys something. Uh, as good subscribers of mine, let me tell you guys something. Ramadan affects your gaming. I will tell you that. With a lack of water, you lose concentration. With a lack of energy, you really can't be asked. And uh, I'm not just making I'm not making excuses, but it's just what I just want to put it out there. When somebody might say to me, "Hey, man, you, you know you've lost your combos, or you're not as good as you used to be, or something along them lines," you're like I miss combos. I uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me, but I don't know. yeah. So, so at least I put it out there. For all the guys who, uh, I mean, I, I want to know your guys' opinion. If there are any people who fast, uh, how, how do you guys find gaming? Do you think it's the same? Uh, do you think not eating affects your uh, affects your gaming quite harshly? It definitely affects mine. Maybe, maybe because I'm just a fat son of a gun. I'm not actually fat, but uh, I, I love to eat. You know, like food's my best friend. Yeah. I'm not gonna say that to my best friend, but you know, my best friend called Kenny. And uh, I'd really love to get him into a video, but he's so shy and he just, he doesn't want to be in any videos and it's, it's, it's not nice because I really want him to be in a video of mine, you know, where we can just talk about Naruto because he's the one who introduced Naruto for me, uh, when I first, you know, when I, when I didn't know what Naruto was, I mean, at that time, the only animes I had watched was Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon. Anyway, and Justice Scorpion doesn't last, land his fatality for some reason. Uh, that fatality is down, yes. back, up, and forward. And that's how you do it. But anyway, uh, this is the last match of this classic Scorpion ranked matches. This time we're facing against the one and only, the one cool character in this game. Uh, a new a new character in this game, a great character, Aaron Black. But let me tell you something. This guy that I face, I remember him to be very defensive. He likes to zone, he likes to spam his little gun, and he uh, and he looks to uppercut. See? See? I told you guys, he loves to uppercut. And guess what? So do I. So we've got an uppercut match right here. He loves he loves zoning. He loves to be at the back, just waiting, using his gun, using his little projectiles. He doesn't know he's fighting against somebody who can teleport. And now it looks like to me, oh, he tried the X-ray, huh? Trying the X-ray. What are you trying? What else are you gonna try, huh? A nice uppercut there, and that's it. A nice teleport to finish the match. Cause you see, you take chip damage in this game, like many fighting games. Okay, on to round two on Scorpion, looking very optimistic in defeating Aaron Black. Nice move right there, using his gun. He loves to spam that. I don't know what it is, some sort of cylinder or some sort of ball with sand in it. There we go. He loves to throw that. He loves it. He loves it! Okay, I've got my uh, x-ray, which uh, I am planning on utilizing against this man. I tried my slide move, never worked. Nice move there from Aaron Black. Let me tell you, he's in big trouble now. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You can bet your you can bet yourself that this is all over. I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. This is ranked matches with classic Scorpion. See you later.